Um, thank you. Well, I could start by telling you I've been a parklands advocate for 30 years. You probably know that. Interestingly, I started at the beginning by fighting the council who bulldozed my local park just north of the cemetery to build a storm dead detention system and then decided they didn't have the money to plant it. So the residents were organised by and we grew trees and we planted this amazing wetland that you can now see. That was my first involvement in the parklands. When I joined council, I fought publicly, vigorously and unremittingly against every single development that occurred was muted or suggested or proposed in the parklands. I never saw it on occasions. I fought government. The Bannon government wanted a Commonwealth Games village, which was allegedly temporary, never temporary in the parklands. And then, of course, the big achievement on council was to rehabilitate nine hectares of land by, when I was mayor, negotiating with the state and federal government to decontaminate the asbestos and oil that was along the railway yards and it became the Helen Mayer Park. And you know how well the subsequent councils will go after that. Eventually I joined the uh, state government and our, our logo at the starting the campaign was we want a city in a park, not a city in a car park. And I know that all governments are suspect, but we did return 5.5 hectares of parklands from the SA water site. I did manage to get the parklands nationally heritage listed, and then I broke ranks with cabinet and opposed the 200 metre long clips or grandstand. So I've got four, I've got this group. Subsequently, I'm still fighting. I can't believe it. I've been called to action. I've been campaigning against the Crow's office block. I've been fighting with petitions. I've been paying for advertisements in the newspaper. I've been employing lawyers. Why am I doing that? I'm doing it because I am provoked by a council that is supine, submissive, and enabling. They never stand up for the parklands, and it enrages me. I should not be doing this as a member of the public, so I might as well stand for council, because I know this council leadership has let us down. They have helped the corporate headquarters to do a consultation. They have supported a basketball stadium, whatever has been said by the candidates who have stood up here this evening. They stood by the festival centre. Frankly, fundraising from the public for a foundation does not cut the mustard. They should be standing up for the parklands, and I can tell you, if I'm elected, I will.